Walk away, son. Walk away. Didn't happen. You didn't do it. Just walk away. <laughs> and welcome to Copan Yang, man. <laughs> that is the first ferry arriving from <laughs> Koh Samui. <laughs> Everybody's looking with uh, some kind of strange look on their face, man. Oh, here's Harry. Good day, Harry. You good? Good. Welcome. Welcome <laughs> to today's vlog. Woo. <laughs> I haven't done that in quite some time. I forgot what kind of um, feelings that brings out in one's soul. <laughs> I'm sorry if I woke anybody up, I apologize. Have a good day. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> good start to the day, and this is Koh Phan Yang. Mm. We may have a bit of cloud. We may. <laughs> we may have a bit of rain. I don't know. But the island is certainly busy, that's for sure. And that is the first boat coming in today and the first boat going out. Woo. And it's already warm. Oh man. Right, let's go and explore Koh Phan Yang. It's not my first impressions because I've been here before and it was really run down. And since I arrived yesterday, things have changed dramatically. Big changes in Koh Phan Yang. People are here. Ferries arriving full and people are leaving. Today, on the early ferry. Yay! That sun keeps going away. It almost looks like it's gonna rain at some point and it's windy. So, for me, it's hard work. But that is your entrance exit to the ferry port of Koh Phan Yang. <laughs> and as you get off, there are cafes, bakeries, specialist coffees. There are banks for exchange. There's another restaurant over there. There's a fairly decent shop there where you can get a camera equipment. There are ATMs right there, which I need because I've got a hundred baht in my wallet and that's all I've got and there are trendy hippie like once you arrive on Koh Phan Yang you can get your Koh Phan Yang gear and look like a proper uh, hippie and blend in you can buy your full hippie outfit from over there they'll do the lot you can as soon as you arrive you can get dressed hello darling how are you <laughs> Westerners are so hard to talk to, man. Really are. If that was a Filipino girl, I'd never be walking home with her. <laughs> That's how life is. Unfortunately, the ups and downs. I do need to go to the ATM. I need petrol. I need lots of things. We've got a cool looking bar right here. The place is a lot busier than what it was. And the reason, because we've got the pan tip market right there, where I just pulled up. I went and bought a new little tripod from the BFC and that's me for the last of my money. I'm now going to go off to Had Rin Beach because that is the most prominent part of Koh Phan Yang where everybody's coming for the full moon party on the 7th. So I'm now so here, it's windy, it's dusty, the sun comes out but I'm covered up because I got sunburnt yesterday. Uh, you can't, I can't believe I still get sunburned after being in Asia for over a year, but I do. So gingers, fella gingers, factor 50 every day. And I've got factor 50 on, but I'm a wee bit pink. Right, Hadrin Beach, here we come. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> that young lady there, that 10 year old girl's just walked off the beach. I'm not, <laughs> I don't want to put a camera on the film now. I'm just like, what, what is that all about? It's like, well, this is just, I, I just, it's, I don't get it. I don't, I don't. People do not 
walk about like that. No, they don't. Until they come to the toilet. <laughs> I know what, I'm gonna get the mankini out. I am, I, I, I am, I, I think I, I haven't got it with me, but I am, I, I'm gonna start walking about in the mankini. I want to join in, man. It's just utter strange. Anyway, Hadrin Beach. Don't seem to be much different here to lockdown. None of that's changed. That's still all a bit samey, is Hadrin. Do like this graffiti artist. He is all over Thailand. Uh, this guy who does this stuff. Um, some of, this is really good. Some of his best stuff is on Ko Chang. I really like, like, like what he does, man. It's, it's cool stuff. It really is. So this is the entrance to Hadrin <coughs> Beach. I was here about eight months, nine months ago, maybe a year. And it doesn't really seem to have changed. We still on the road here. There's still plenty of that everywhere. I don't know if it's it's bin collection day today. I really don't know. Don't know. And I've got this out on. I keep getting. Ah, uh, I've got. I haven't got enough room in my glove box to put the helmet because I've got a lot of kit with me today. As I am out and about vlogging and doing a little film work as well. But the wind is still here, I can feel that high wind. Like I say, most people come to Hadrin either to do a crazy full moon party. I think the next one is the seventh. And um, the other thing they come here for is the kite surfing. So there'll probably be a few kite surfers out there surfing. And we have our flip flop bottle or cocktail shaker. Is that what that looks like? It looks like a cocktail shaker to me. And even these don't seem to have moved on. Ah, well, this place we do have water in there, a little resort. So I'm just going to go. Oh man, I'll have a look at the beach and then I'll decide if I'm going to go for a beach walk. If I'm going to do any, it's going to be difficult doing the film work because of the oh man, of the wind. I haven't got a wind defender from the big camera. I do have a wind defender from my recording device, but then, oh mate, that's all too much like hard work, that is. How windy is <laughs> compared to where I am, which is still, oh mate, that is so windy, man. Oh, it's wicked though. It is wicked. Proper waves, you do a little bit of surfing on them waves. You certainly can. You certainly can. Right. Oh man, Tommy Tourist. Tommy, welcome to Tommy Resort. Now one of my subscribers said, come to so-and-so bar. Rune, Halter. Uh, if, I, if I remember, if I've remembered that, I've done really well. So that's why I come, I'm gonna walk. I'm in the, I'm in the middle of the beach because I want to do a beach walk and a bit of filming but with that wind oh man it just makes hard work but it looks awesome it really does look awesome wicked place for kite surfing or in fact a little bit of surfing man that is Hadrin beach looking pretty much how it's always looked Right. Just before <laughs> that crazy, noisy, windy Hadrin Beach, literally one kilometer, I just stopped to pull into these bungalows to have a look and it has led me to this little beach. Awesome. I like these really cool, narrow, natural beaches i do oh man around the corner from there is hadrin this is a right cool little beach with all the little fishing boats man i don't know if they're all anchored in or they're actually got their nets out fishing along there i don't know if they're pulled into a shallow harbor or if they're actually in full production i don't know enough about fishing boats to tell you i mean but what wicked 
I walk this way because I'm walking into the wind. That's really windy. Lovely clear sea, really clean looking. Got a little resort right here. Ah, which I almost went in with the ducks. That's an over 16th resort. Ah, right next door, which I was ah, looking at. But ah, I know why I've stopped. I've got my drone with me. There's something <laughs> on this road. You can see it up on the left, the abandoned anchor walk. It was all now a bit gray looking. It looked really cool when I was here and it was actually being refurbished and I got caught by the cleaner as I stealthed in off the beach because it's all boarded up on the roadway. But as I've got my drone, I'll probably fly it. The wind isn't too bad, so I'll go up there and park. I'll go down to the beach and um, I'll, I'll, I'll get that on my drone. And I'm also going to see, because where it's now been uh, even more uh, boarded up at the front, I think it's proper derelict now, proper abandoned. So that'll be in. I'm going in. And what a cool bar here, look, right on the beach. Proper, I oh mean, that's really cool. I think those two ladies there, the sunbathing there, with a sombrero, and a kayak, and a cool bar, and the guy's chilling. That's what he kept. You good? You good to hey. Seaside Sunset Bar. Seaside Resort. Right here at Hadrin. But I think all the bungalows are rented out. They all look like residential now. Oh, what a cool little bar. Cup on cap. Cup on cap. Cheers, buddy. Nice, man. It's clean and it's tidy. Wicked. That's what we like to see. <laughs> Wicked. I'll, I'll wait until I get at the top. I'll show you what the bungalow name But if you yeah, hang on. I'll walk through so you can show it. I can show you. These look like they were holiday homes, but they now look, sort of cab, like residents. If you see what I mean probably got a good deal on them or bought them and there's possibly one there three they are wicked though it's a wicked little bungalow in this little complex right on the sea nice place to stay cool okay I've been I've been out and about round and around I've been back we're on we're on we are on. I've been back to the hotel to fill my ice bucket up. Can hear the, it's the nail gun, man. <laughs> I don't, I don't get copain yen, guys. I really don't. I, I know it's a party place. If you're out drinking and doing load of drugs and all that, then, then, uh, then uh, I know there's bars and places to go. But I really don't get it. I mean, it's a messy place. It's untidy. It's run down. Doesn't look like it's recovered. There's rubbish everywhere. And then. I thought I found somewhere really cool on the beach. I thought, oh man, this will be all right. And then I saw this sign. <laughs> yeah, it's an alcohol free zone. It's the part of the healing center. <laughs> I love a bit of healing. I do. I do. And there's also, look, no entry of all motor vehicles. <laughs> oh, mate. Um, so, <laughs> I might be going into this place, man. There's no alcohol. Well, we can't have any alcohol. No, not even any wine. No. <laughs> well, so you've got all that good well-being of no alcohol and all that peace and healing. Whilst you have the workmen working away with cement, cement, and a swimming pool that looks. Wow, looks like it's a year from completion. But <laughs> don't let that get in our way. We're here to be healed. Healed. What is that a bit of Reiki? I reckon over there right now, I get all this healing and all this, um, what is it, hedonism? I get it, I understand it. I mean, that's probably the old, old place. Now what happens, you get these middle class, they're usually women, right? Good looking, fit, done a bit of yoga, away with the fairies, daddy's wallet or credit card in the pocket, right? And then they come to Koh Yang and they see all these young, pretentious, good, well-being people and they want to take their money off them. They do, so they put in some hedonistic stuff. They do yoga classes. I mean, 200 baht for a yoga class and over 30 people attending every day. Why not? Easy living, mate. Easy money. I mean, I'm thinking about doing... Um, 
I'm a qualified boxing instructor, also do yoga, tai chi, and other uh, disciplines. So maybe I'll stay in uh, Hedron Beach, open some former new martial art. Oh man, I could sell it to people as the ultimate well-being. Oh man, enlighten one's soul, mind, body into the elements of the real world. I could do that. I could, but you know what? I like my job, what I've already got. I like the real world. I like the realism. <laughs> I've not been healed. The origin, the healing centre, and everybody's popped up to be healed. <laughs> you know about self-healing though, don't you, you guys? You know what self-healing is and how to achieve it. I hope you don't. Go on the internet. I'm sure Google will tell you something about the banky banky world of Copan Yang. It's, it's, you, know, you can't blame them, right? You can't blame these people for doing this stuff because they're just like the tides. They know the, that's what they become, these people. They're like entrepreneurs, man. And they go, yeah, because they know Western people will spend the money. Go away with the bloody fairies to what they spend their money on. Yes, yes. So, I was gonna, I wanted to show you something different about Copan Yang, but you know what? Well, same, same, different. I think that's gonna be the headlines. I was like, hopefully, Copan Yang has changed. Wow, it's bustling, it's been cleaned. Let me show you how it's been cleaned near this hedonistic healing center. This is how clean Copan Yang is, look. To that center over there. And that smells a bit. I mean, how hedonistic is it? <laughs> you know what I think it is? It's a load of old, isn't it? For those who want it, it's there. Right, and I'm trying to find something positive on Copan Yang. I am, that's where like, I think when I come, like, I come here, I was like, there's a beach I know looked at. I mean, is, is it a date? It's not a date to be on the beach. Um, not really. And the beach is so narrow, you know, if you lay there, you get trodden on. Um, so anyway, but I'm going to carry on. I'm sure I'll find something that, that, that I can be pleased with. Maybe I'll go and eat something, because I know further on that way is a decent bakery. The sun has come back out. <laughs> I've come home. It's long gone three o'clock. Oh, I'm exhausted. I am really tired. It's the time of day where I just want to... Oh, man. Such a cool spot though, right? <laughs> like I said, oh, the man's got his ship out. Wicked, man. Oh, man, the little beach goes right up around there. It's through here. This is my little beach, just walked from the apartment. I have, and I like it. I like it, it's the best part of my day today. <clears throat> Going around Copan Yang, finding stuff that I really like, or interests me, is really hard work. It is, I found some places, I, well I actually bumped into a very nice young lady, who told me of a waterfall and some abandonments and stuff. Because I was, I was at a, a restaurant outside that looked abandoned, but it wasn't, it was just closed. So, um, oh, that was interesting. That's been the best part of my day today. Oh, man, but it is cool. Right here, these gnarly old roots of these trees and these rocks, it is just really nice. I made a nice film off that bench last night, a 30 minute film on me BFC, just with, with the camera, what capture and the sunset. Right out there, oh man, look, what a cool little beach. I mean, it is little, but what more do you want to yourself? Wicked. That's what I liked about this place. The lady was really nice, and she was happy that I was staying here. She weren't chasing me for money. She weren't happy she was lying in her pockets. She was happy she had a decent guest, sort of. And it is all in here, like, it's just proper old school Thailand. No. A dog just laying there, look. Laying there in the shade. But it's all rickety 
rickety old Thailand. As we all remember it from the good old days. These old rickety wooden bamboo huts. Wicked. Wicked. So I'm done. Man, I made a very small abandonment film. But th this was the view I filmed last night right here. There, that was more or less the picture. Yeah, it was, but without the bendiness going on and the sun was setting there and that that was it. That will be on um, another channel when <laughs> when I get round to it. But yeah, there's um, I'm going in. I made that vlog today. I've I'll, I've made that one and this one. Oh, man, I also this morning finished editing my uh, Kotao so Sai Ray Beach cinematic film. It was really good. I quite enjoyed it. Uh, it was really good. I caught some really good scenes, and I've been I've been out today and a bit yesterday trying to capture images to make a similar film here. But I don't think it's possible. This place is too big. It's too vast, and uh, there's not enough points of interest to capture. Um, well, I got I got a little bit later today filming filming tomorrow. So that is now live. Uh, the time you see this on my Sean King account, there is now a brand new cinematic short film about 17 minutes long of of Kotal which if you really want to see what Kotal really is like from raw raw real type film then check it out um, there'll be a link in the description I've been quite pleased with its outcome um, I really have so that's, uh, that's working out for me I want to be doing more in my filmmaking with this camera and bringing those films that I believe actually bring you what the place is actually like if you're actually there that's the whole point of what I'm trying to do with them films it is oh man so guys cheers I've been looking forward to this it. three it's probably our past three and I went to thingy about our past one uh, the off uh, the 7 11 because you've got to get there before two and then I bought two bags of ice and uh, come home and filled that up. So that's, that's been in there in the ice, so that's proper ice cold. So cheers. Mm. Oh man. Oh, that is so good. I'm only having the one. Because when I went out that way to film a beach, it's, it, it looks like it's going to rain. It got really dark, but it, it, now as I've now turned round and come back, the sun has come out again. Hard work on this island. Very, very much like hard work. So whilst I, I actually went, I don't know if you guys remember last time I was here, I found a really good bakery that does vegan cakes, which are awesome. So I bought the coconut one and I bought the mango and Oh, what was it? Mango. Oh man, mango and passion fruit cakes. And I noticed they had cheesecakes in there as well. So I may go back tomorrow to make a cheesecake vlog. 80 bar to go. Two quid for a slice of cheesecake. But I might have to try two or three. So I might do the cheesecake vlog tomorrow. I mind. I mind. But I've got the two slices of cake for a happy ending for when I make my next vlog my wasted life because that's all i want to do now and i'm going to finish that finish this <laughs> go back to my room roll a number and just waste my life sitting here and then i can give a report on those cakes because i'd probably want to eat them a lot more in a bit than i do now so guys loads more things coming on the other channels and this one is this i apologize for copanyang not being a great vlog no it really isn't there, there are places here to find it's a big island and hopefully tomorrow I'll go out and find something that's worth watching. Hopefully, can't guarantee it. I've only got one more day here, and then I'm going. To whip. I'm going to the worst place in Thailand from here. I am. I'm going to Koh Samui. <laughs> Just oh me. Let's see how I get on there. So until tomorrow, thanks for watching, and au revoir.